What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. Today I'm with my Tide English 5.8 quart air fryer and today I'm gonna make air fried chicken thighs. Let me go ahead and rinse these off. I'll be right back. Alright, got the chicken washed, took the skin off and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, vinegar to it. That's a little bit. We'll add some garlic powder. Some onion powder. And just for today, I'm just gonna add some Slap Your Mama Cajun style seasoning to it. I like this seasoning. All right, and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything up. Make sure everything gets a little bit of everything, all the chicken. If not, go ahead and add some more. And mind you guys, if you don't have the Slap Your Mama's Cajun seasoning, then all you have to do differently than I did is you just add salt and pepper um, to it and everything would be the same. So now what I'm going to do is crack two eggs. And um, beat them. All right, so now I'm just going to pour the egg right into this mix right here. And we're just going to mix it up. Make sure all of it gets some. Alright guys, this is my seasoned flour that I got from Walmart. Um, you know, your, your um, supermarket, your local supermarket will have different types of seasoned flour. In fact, I won't show you what I'm using, but I'll show you another one that I have just to give you an example. This is an example of seasoned flour. This is what it looks like. If you want to know what I'm using though, you have to join my Facebook group, um, Cook Essentials Air Fryer Group. Um, it's an air fryer group on all air fryers. Um, but of course, Cook Essentials uh, Air Fryer is my baby. And um, that's why I called it that. But it's it's in regards to all air fryers, so just definitely check us out. You'll, hear, you'll get some great tips, best practices, and some recipes. Good stuff. I just took out my Thai English 5.8 quart basket. Um, I'm going to spray it. I'm also going to use this air fryer rack to help out. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom or get those Im imprinted holes. Okay guys, now we're just going to take our chicken and dip it into our flour. Make sure it's both sides are covered really good. I'm only making four pieces so I didn't need to do too much. I didn't need to have too much flour. Alright. So I'm just gonna do one for you to show you. So like I said, take your time, make sure everything is covered. That's one for you right there. Alright guys, now that we got the flour on them, on both sides, next step is you want to sprint some oil on them. Now you could use any oil sprayer that you may have, but this is what I have. Go ahead and give it a shake, then I spray. Get nice and good. All right, so that's that. This is the um, bottom of the um, thighs. So I'm gonna flip them over into the basket so that the top will go first. Um, but you could do it any way you want to do it. That's just how I do it. It's no, no, you know, specific correct way. But anyway, let's go ahead and put them into the basket now. So I flipped them into the basket. So now I have to sprint some oil on on 
the top now. But before I do that, just for decorations, I'm just going to add some black pepper to the top. Makes it look sexy when it's done. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're about ready to put in the air fryer now. Oh, and by the way, shout out to my boy Joe in my air fryer group. He just bought one of these and he shouted me out on the Facebook page. So here's back at you, bro. All right, guys, um, according to my um, air fryer chart and my Todd English air fryer uh, manual, it says 370 for about 25 minutes. So I'm going to flip it halfway, but here we go. So guys, we got 13 minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. But I wanted to show you, I changed it to 400 degrees. Whenever you're frying anything, you need to use 400 degrees, despite what your, what your cookbook says. I mean, your manual says. Um, you need to use 400 degrees to get that crispness. So let me take this out real quick and flip them. Not bad so far. All right, so I flipped them over and this is what we're looking like. So we'll put them in for the rest. I'll monitor it. It may not need 13 minutes. I'll take a look at it at seven, eight minutes just to make sure. That's the great thing about air frying. You can open up the basket and, and you know, monitor your food and make sure it's not burning or, you know, make adjustments. Cool. All right, guys, I got eight minutes left. So I smell it. It smells really good. So I'm just gonna check it now. My guess is it's about done right now. So I'm just gonna check it just to, just to see. Look at that. See, it's done. Now if I would've waited the eight minutes in good faith, these things would've probably been, been burnt. So that just goes to show you, no big deal guys, just check it. You can check it every five minutes and now once you do it the first, you know, get it right the first time to your liking, you can jot down what you did and you'll have it right every time. But you know, it's simple. So I'll let these cool off and I'll plate them with the rest of my dinner and we'll have a bite together. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is my uh, Spanish rice um, that I made with my Cook Essentials uh, Digital Perfect Cooker. Um, and I, you know, vacuum seal it about a month ago or whatever. So I'm going to take this out and put in some Tupperware and warm this up as well. Okay, guys, just to go into overtime, I do have some broccoli that I'm going to air fry. It's pretty much frozen together. So I'm going to, I don't know, air fry it at, uh, I'll do... I'll do 340 for about seven, eight minutes, and I'll take a look at it at like, I don't know, three minutes in to break it up. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, guys, we got about four minutes left on this, so I'm gonna shake it. It should, it should all pretty much be loose now. Make sure, yeah, there they go. Yeah. Now at this point you want to add your salt and pepper or whatever you're going to add. I'm just going to add some dash today on my um, vegetables. Let's do that. Do another shake. And boom, put it back in. Alright guys, at last we are done. Look at that. Alright, so let's go ahead and of course try one of the chicken thighs. First, take a look at it. See the black pepper I put on the top? See how it came out? All right, let's take a bite. Mmm. Nice and juicy. This is totally awesome. Totally awesome. Let's try some of this rice. I did a video on this rice, so 
if you're interested just type in uh, Spanish rice in uh, Cook Essentials Perfect Digital Cooker I mean that recipe will work for you know a slow cooker as well pretty much this is, this is the bomb mmm get some of that air fryer broccoli I'll just take one out should be crunchy mmm oh yeah well anywho let me sit down and enjoy this watch some football it's football Sunday so still got some games going on anyway hit like if you like it and guys remember to um, join my Facebook group and guys I'm excited my um I just found out earlier today that my cook essentials 5.3 quart is been shipped from QVC the pre-order has finally been shipped so I'll be getting mine shortly look out for the videos on that and um, so I'm excited so I'm gonna have a 5.3 quart cook essentials and I, I have my Thai English 5.8 quart think that's totally awesome but anyway like I always say if anything thanks for just even looking at my video it's cooking with Doug and we are out